All right, guys, let's see if I can get this one falling. Well, welcome back to our channel, everybody. Two Brothers Outdoors. We appreciate you stopping by. On our last video, the most exciting part of the video was the tree falling, and we seemed to miss that with the camera. There's a lot going on when you're felling a tree. The actual person felling the tree is probably better off than the cameraman as he's close to the tree and can sidestep either way to get out of its way. The cameraman, on the other hand, has to watch for falling limbs and has to watch from which direction the tree is going to fall. With that being said, sometimes punching the touchscreen with calloused fingers just doesn't do what it's intended to do. And in that case, the camera didn't start rolling. And unfortunately, the last tree we dropped was a perfect drop, and we missed it. The next two, not so much. Just stay tuned and watch. Looks so like took a couple small trees down with it. Not only do we have several spring trees underneath this tree, the top of this tree is hung up in a yellow birch and it's really putting a lot of tension and compression on this tree trunk. So cutting it up is going to be kind of a challenge. Get over here out of the way. Trees that are hung up like this in the top have a tendency to want to push backwards and they have a tendency to want to roll one way or the other. So we're going to have to be very careful cutting this tree up. You see all those two and three inch in diameter trees folded underneath the trunk of this big tree? Those are called spring trees. Cut those wrong and they'll smack you like a baseball bat. This tree hung up in a bunch of little stuff. Let's be careful, it's trying to roll. Be careful. All right, the top is under compression and the bottom is under tension. Good enough. I think we're pretty safe bucking up this trunk as long as we got that stump holding the tree away from me where it can't roll on me. Once we get beyond that point, we're gonna have to be careful.
up, baby. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the tree. Better get on the ground. Here. Careful, it's trying to slide this way. There you go. Can't do anything with this knob right here. Well, yeah, the branch is, yeah, but it can come back this way. Yeah, I didn't figure it was going to do that. It's still crackling. All right. Probably get two more logs out of it. As long as I can reach up. I'm just saying, I think you can get two more logs out of it. Here, I'll hold that for you. Mr. Log Tape Man, come hold my tape. Are you going 8-3? 8-5. Okay, got it? Got it. Okay. Okay, so we've reached a danger point here. If I cut this here, this log's gonna drop that way because there's a stump in the way. This tree top, I have no idea what it's gonna Probably do. Probably gonna come backwards. It could come backwards, it could come this way. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here where I got some big limbs against the ground. Cut up there. And cut it off, and that way we won't be dealing with it. Alleviate some of that stress. Yep, alleviate some of the compression. I'm worried about it. I don't know what the top's going to do. Top's going to fall straight down. So, I've got it sawn pretty close to being all the way through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this right here. <laughs> Watch yourself a minute. Huh. Well, That's pretty damn solid right there. Well, give it a cut, see what happens. Well, I relieved the pressure off the top. Yeah. There you go. Still thinks she's 16. Might be easier with the arbor saw, Rick.
think there's a couple left on the bottom. Is that another eight foot section up there? Well, where you got from top? It looks it's like got six one foot. In it. Oh, okay. That's not rotten right there? No. We got one, two, three, four logs out of this one. Yeah. So that's 10 logs all together so far. Cool. Got one more tree right here. I think that's a nice one too. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right here. If you think this tree was a challenge, wait till you see the next one. If you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscription button, hit the notifications bell, and hey, give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up really helps our channel. All right, guys, until the next one, we will catch you later.